Hello guys, today I'm going to teach you how to make a GIF in Photoshop in After Effects. First you want to go to File, New, and then I'm going to be doing a 200 by 200 avatar. And have 72 resolution, RGB color, all that. Alright, so then press OK. And now I'm going to start with the background. I'm going to make it a basic... Um, say a bluish color cyan and then we'll add another layer and then we'll put some text over it we'll use the best new the font alright so we'll write Aiden which is my name I'm just gonna change the color because you can't really see it I'll make that I'll see a, um, a grayish color so we can use effects properly alright so we'll center that alright and then we'll go to blending options by right clicking on that text layer and then we'll change some things around we'll give it a gradient overlay with I like the soft light effect it makes it look pretty cool I'll leave that on 100 and then I will go to inner glow linear dodge add 20 opacity 10 noise and have that on white that looks pretty nice when it has the 3D effect as well. Alright, now we've got that, we'll go to 3D. Well, I'm going to do 3D and have it animate as well at the same time so it looks good. Alright, um, 3D, we'll just load that up. And you can see it's already done some 3D stuff already. Um, then we'll go to the text here, Aiden, and then we'll give it some extrusion depth let it load um, that looks pretty nice like that I'd say and then I like to go to this option here cap and then give it a bit of strength say 10 I usually do around 10 and then that's pretty good unless you wanna go to the extrusion and then maybe I could have this a, maybe a bluish color around here that looks pretty cool you can see it's done that to it and then press this button here just render it out once you've done see it's rendering getting much clearer you don't always have to wait for this to finish you can just press ESC in the top left of your keyboard to just stop until it's pretty much as clear as it can get which I'll do now yeah and then um, I'll go back to layers and then I'll right click the text here convert to smart object then we'll get out of, out of the 3D workspace and now we can do things to it, such as sometimes I add another effect to it afterwards because it can change and look a bit better. Maybe a drop shadow, I, I like to add that. You don't have to have full opacity, maybe around here might look nice. Just a little, little bit of opacity around here. That looks pretty cool. And then maybe another gradient overlay with soft light. You can see the effect it has there. That looks pretty cool here. And I'll go OK. Now, what we've done is the 3D text. That looks pretty cool. Now, I'll add another layer. And I will go to my brushes. And I've got a lot of brushes here. I'll say I like these type of ones, the debris ones. They look pretty sweet. I will make it a, uh, a lighter color. Maybe here so it stands out a bit more. That looks pretty nice. Then we can give that a nice gradient overlay. Um, I'll say just normal. I'll change this gradient maybe to that. Something different. It's not really noticeable, but I'll, I'll keep it on there. Alright, then I'll go to OK. Alright, so once you've done this, um, and you've got your brushes on there, whatever you want to do to it, then you go to file, save as, and then go to desktop, and I'll just name, it, name this avatar. Alright, and then I'll go, just have it as a, um, uh, what was it again, PNG, and save it to the desktop. Alright, and then press OK. And then you want to open up After Effects, and then go to file, import and then choose your file 
which you just saved then I chose this one this avatar and then go to import and then you've got it here and then you want to go to file new oh new composition sorry just go to new composition here and then make sure it's 200 on each or whatever I, I did 200 you don't whatever size you did for your um your the file settings for your photo you just edited before and then um the duration how long you want your um uh, your picture to be animated for I have it seven seconds so go to OK we can always change it after so it won't matter um, I know why this is coming up don't worry about that it might not come up for you just press OK and then we've got this picture here which I just made quickly and we'll drag that in here alright so it's in here and then this is when the editing comes in alright so I'm going to right click here go new and then solid and I'm going to go OK and I already have some effects on here I've got this thing called video copilot and then optical flares what it has it's got all these flare effects and stuff you guys can get it as well um, I think it's got a, a yeah a really large amount of effects and stuff it's really helpful I'm going to go to this one here and then the streak and press solo and I'm going to change the rotation a bit around here looks pretty cool and then I will make the brightness a bit less and make the scale around a thousand which is the max Have a bit less on here say around here or something looks nice 53 alright and then I'll go OK and then I'll go to the more to the mode and we will change that to screen which is here you can see it's on here we'll move this one here I will put it up here and then I will go down on this go to effects and then vi uh, it's called optical flares and then choose the position x y I'll click down on that and then I'll move this for how long I want it to the, um, the light to go down past my name the animation I want it to go about two seconds so I will then change this I'll move it over till it basically gets out of the, the view alright and then it's got this here it'll have our animation like that Right, that's pretty cool. I probably don't want it going for seven seconds. I want it to repeat, but not automatically. Like, as in, like, I don't want it to keep going. Like, just repeat the process after it gets to the end. I want it to have a bit of time to, um, for nothing to happen. Then it to do it again. All right, so I've got about four seconds or so. Four point one. Um, so I've got it there. Uh, actually about the middle or four and five um, so that's good and then we'll go to project I like to just um, press shift have both of these selected and then I right click and then go to pre-compose click on that and OK so it's just in one thing it's more easier um, so you've got it selected and then make sure you go to composition add to render queue once you've done that click on best settings make sure it's got quality and then best here make sure resolution full and and the size make sure it's your right size and everything all the things you want and the other thing make sure you've got your frame rate down to 15 that's where you want to have it at make sure you do that alright then go to OK Alright, now go to lossless, make sure you've got your format at QuickTime, click that, and then go to OK. So it should be all good, and you'll have your little nice animation there, and then it will repeat. It'll just keep going like that, it'll look really cool afterwards. Alright, so go back to your render queue, and go to render, that's just rendering up then it will save to your desktop 
So then, go to Photoshop again. I'm just going to make a new document quickly, just like this. I'll we'll make sure it's 200 by 200. Alright, and then I will go to Import, and then Video Frames to Layers. Click that, and then it will load up. and you can just pick your file and such just wait for it to load still loading alright here we go and then I will go to what I just made which is the comp1 that's what we just saved then or, or whatever name you made it I go to this I go to open and then I will go to OK. Alright, so we've got our file here. And it's got all of our little frames here. Alright. So, we will then. Um, I'm just going to select them all. Make sure nothing goes wrong. Just make sure I have everything selected. Just in case. Alright, and then we're going to go up to file and then save for web and then it's got all of our things here you can click on this play button if you want and it'll have our little animation play and it will repeat the process again again and again and again and keep going after all your frames are complete alright make sure you've got transparency clicked if you've got interlace clicked convert to S R G B all that clicked all the same options that I've got here pretty much and then make sure it's a GIF file make sure it's on there don't change the preset just keep it as it is and then press save you can go to desktop if you want I'll just call it animated avatar All right, I'll save that to my desktop alright sweet so I've got that go to my animated avatar this one and then you can see it'll open up in a browser and it will have my avatar animated. So that's how to do it guys. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and all that. See ya.